know the thing. I'm teaching you the thing. You are playing with the thing. Small girl, you don't know the thing. I am teaching you the thing. You are playing with the thing. Push it up, push up the thing. I am teaching you the thing. Hi everyone, um, this is Doris, and thank you for tuning into my channel. So um, as the title goes, this is going to be a review on the finger comber unit and this is the Ren Bob unit. So if you don't know um, about the finger fingercomber.com, it's like a website, it's kind of like a big cartel website but it's way cute and on the website it has like different hair and different wig, they call it units and um they have like the really popular one which is the finger comber unit and that one's supposed to mimic like a 4b 4c texture and um you can basically do twist out braid outs or any kind of styles with that unit and then you have this unit which is called the urban bob unit and um i decided to go on the website and pick this up because first of all i was kind of confused like i i didn't know which one to get i wanted to get a finger combi unit but it was way too expensive it was almost a hundred dollars plus shipping and everything so i saw this and this was like 55 um which included shipping and everything and the first thing that i did which i'm sure most of you do when you buy or when you're trying to buy stuff is go to youtube and i didn't really see a lot of reviews for this particular unit i did see however a lot for the finger comber unit but i didn't see a lot of reviews for this one i saw like one or two um reviews and um I was like, well, you know, it looked good and I might as well buy it. So I bought this hair a week ago and which is really good. The shipping is really fast. I think I bought this hair like last week Friday and today is Wednesday. I'm not sure if I got it last week Friday. I think it's it's been I think it's been a week since I got this unit and um the shipping's really fast and today's Monday. No, today's Tuesday and I got it today. So um I haven't worn it out. I just tried it on like I've been wearing it for like a few hours now, but I haven't gone out or anything, so I don't know how it looks outside. Then I'm gonna um I'm gonna insert clips for you to see like how it looked like because I couldn't wait to open it on camera or anything, but I did record how it came. It came with like this like regular box and then inside that box had this little box and it came wrapped with this and had like you know cute like notes on how to take care of your wig and then the girl which which like i think she's the model for the wig um and it was tied with this ribbon so it came all cute and fancy which was good which made me know that they really cared and they really put a lot of effort in you know taking care of the um making sure your package was really good um the first thing i want to notice when i opened this wig up was you could really tell that it was handmade um it wasn't i wouldn't say like i wouldn't say it was like really you could tell it's handmade like i mean handmade stuff and not like sometimes they're not always perfect and you could tell that the wig is really delicate and like you could see the sims of the tread and everything but still some of it was still there and um yeah which you know i i love it that i know that someone actually took their time i don't know how many days it took to actually make my wig so i thought that was really really good but um it wasn't it wasn't perfect like the wig isn't perfect obviously if it's handmade but it was really good it looks really good it looks like it's really sturdy when i took this hair out I was a bit surprised. I mean, first, I was surprised in a good and a bad way. I was surprised in a good way because it's really soft. I mean, if you touch this hair, this hair is like super soft, super, super soft, which is amazing. I love that about the hair. It's soft, you know, it seems like it's gonna last. And I have put, I put conditioner and water in the hair already, and it's still soft, like it's still super soft so that's really good um i was also surprised in a bad way because when i saw the texture i was like whoa like is this supposed to be a 4b texture or like 4 texture mm -mm. 
the card or the whatever. So this is the girl on the mannequin. Or the oh, no mannequin. This is the girl modeling the wig. It looked really kinky. It looked like I don't know if you guys can see my hair. My hair is in the front. Okay, this is my hair. It looked like this, like my hair. It looked really tight. It looked really really kinky. But this wig, I don't know if you can tell. It has a lot of texture in it. It has a lot of wave in it. It looks like a three texture to me. A three texture. It has tons of texture, tons of loose texture. And I know four be like four textures don't have no loose hair in it. So this is deceiving. Like I was deceived by the picture because I thought it would really mimic my hair, but it it didn't. I mean if I blow out my hair um, and I just leave a little bit of texture in it. it I, I probably would, it probably would look like this a little bit, but I'm not gonna blow out my hair. I mean, that's the main reason why I bought a wig for for protective style and, and not to have it blown out or anything, and not to like you know do anything to my hair. Secondly, I mean, when I wore it, it was really, it's really big. Like I don't even know if this camera, it's the camera is not even doing it justice. This hair is huge. This hair is really big. And I love big hair. I mean, I don't care. I rock big hair all the time in school. Um, so, yeah, I like I like big hair. I didn't mind that. But the hair is really big. So if you're not a fan of, like, huge hair, then I would advise you to stay away from this unit. Another thing that I noticed about this hair um, is it took me a while to blend with it. It has two combs, one in the front and one in the back. And then the sides, I guess there's no comb because um, it helps you to kind of maneuver if you want to do different styles with it, um, which is good. But I mean, even with the two combs, it's still secured, but I still have to bobby pin it because of some reasons. And I'll tell you guys in a minute. Um, yeah, I still have to bobby pin it. Um, to make sure that it's secure because it's really windy in Carbondale and um, I just have to make sure that my it doesn't come out you know with the wind because the wind is really really strong it took me a while to kind of figure out how I'm gonna do it um, put it on my hair um, it's not tight as, at all it's not I mean you have to bobby pin it to make it as tight as you want but it's not tight at all but even if it's not tight it's still not gonna come off I'm gonna say a con right from the moment or well, I think I mentioned the con the texture is not doesn't mimic my hair is again you can tell my all my hair is out in the front so that's my hair out in the front and you can tell that my hair is not as dark as the wig so it doesn't quite blend well with the hair like and I'm using natural sunlight so this is the wig and it's in color onyx and this is my hair my hair is quite dark but um, occasionally in the sunlight it comes out as like can see the tips are um brown i don't know why that is but yeah it looks brown so you can tell that right off it's not blending well with my hair which is annoying because when i got this wig i thought it was going to be really natural and everything but you know far away you can't really tell that well but close up you can tell that obviously it doesn't blend well it just seems like a lot of work for something that you want to use as a protective style. So I wouldn't recommend this wig at all. Um, if you have the time and the patience and you just want to wear big hair with no much definition every day, then this is for you. But if you're something, someone that's looking for a low maintenance style and you know you need definition like you know twist style and all of that, and then yeah, this ain't for you, girl. Like you better not. <laughs> <laughs> look at the wig. If you have really short hair, please don't go for this wig. My hair is, I mean, my hair is still short, I would say, but, um, yeah, m my front hair is like a lot of drama. It's short, like, it's shorter than my back hair, so it stands, like, even in the sides, you can tell, like, my hair is stands, so it doesn't quite well blend with the hair, so even wearing it like this, it's kind of weird because, like, my hair is standing, and then you can see the wig, so it the I think you can see like this you can see like my hair is standing my hair is not blending in so um you just have to like figure out what you are gonna do with it I think I'm gonna like pin it and have it like this or something I don't know um now I need to start saving money to get the finger combo unit because I think that's the best and it's always the best seller so I think that's what's gonna um 
be better for my hair so uh, yeah that's my review guys i hope this is helpful you know if you come across the website or you come across the hair just yeah have more information and i would say i don't know if they're gonna watch my video like the owners of the finger comba unit finger um you guys need to change your picture because it looks really deceiving like it's it looks deceiving like this is deceiving me okay so my hair is really kinky and this claims to be kinky hair and to be honest it's not it really isn't so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching and um i will talk to you guys in another one please subscribe to my video like this video please support me you know <laughs> i just started making videos and bye